So uh, we had so much trouble last time, everybody, with being heard and not heard and blah, blah, that we had to cancel it. So Maria and I were having a little bit long chat and a lovely chat. And then I started recording and all of a sudden she couldn't hear me. So, but then all of a sudden. Eric is missing. Yeah. Eric is missing. I, I know it was Eric. All right. So, hello, Dr. D. How are you doing? Fine. I hope you too, Eliza, like everybody else in these crazy times. I think everybody's already, oh, I hope, good or in a good shape. I, I really hope so. Yes. But I can't, I can't, you know, complain. I mean, life yes, goes you know, on. Just, you know, come on, people. We need to, no matter what happens, we are eternal beings. We yes. need to look for the lessons in everything. And, you know, nothing's good, nothing's bad. Actually, it's all good as far as I'm concerned. Just live your life in love. Never live your life in fear. That's what a now certain, it's going on. A certain group of people want us to do. So yes. defy them. Live your life in love. All right. So we're going to talk about something that I think is very interesting that Dr. D, Dr. Maria Johnson, uh, brought up. And uh, it's astrology and nutrition. So take the floor, Dr. D. So uh, today I would like to talk about enzymes. You know, normally in nutrition, nutritionists, they don't ever talk about enzymes. They yeah. talk about calories, they talk about vitamins and all that stuff. But enzymes are so important for our body. They are anyway essential. And at the end of the day, it comes always to the immune system. Okay? Yeah. So, bacteria and enzymes, they are connected. Why? Because the factory of the in enzymes are actually good bacteria, which are yeah. in our intestine, are actually in the guts, if, if, if I have to say it correctly. So, bacteria are living uh, cells which obviously they have many capabilities of consuming wastes uh, of different types and reproducing and actually producing enzymes. So the factory of enzymes are bacteria, but the good ones. That's why it's important to have good ones and not the bad ones. Yeah. So when we have the right bacteria uh, that are present in the, bo in, in the, in the body, uh, or, or in the right quantities, in the right conditions, they obviously produce enzymes. And why are these freaking enzymes so important? Because of our digestion, but not only, because they are very complex chemicals and um, they are catalysts, they speed up uh, the chemical reactions. It's like actually the snowball effect or domino effect. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the enzymes, by the way, are not alive. They, they, they are just there, you know, they are, they are waiting for other chemical uh, reaction or complexes to get at work. Otherwise, they would be just there say, okay, here I am. Who's coming? I'm waiting. Like so, little wallflowers uh, at a dance, right? Yes, they would just be there. Um, obviously, there are uh, enzyme, however, there are proteins, but they also attack proteins, yeah. and therefore uh, enzymes are obviously their usefulness is limited by uh, digestion from other enzymes. So they were yeah. is all interrelated, inter interconnected. So I said it's important for our digestion. Yeah. Otherwise, we would really. It starts already when uh, when we are chewing. Our saliva is producing enzymes. So that means, the longer you chew, the better it is for the, your digestion. Oh, but we don't. We Americans definitely. Westerners don't do that. We gulp it no. down. Especially those who've been in the military, right? Yes. We they just it swallow. Down. They just yeah. swallow and um, it's, it's one piece. So the, the, the stomach, obviously, it, it processes it, but not 100%. It can't. So the more work you do by chewing, the better it is. Interesting. It's very simple. So nutrition uh, is we are actually what we eat, I say all the time to the patients. Okay. Oh, wow. uh, if, 
if you stuff in just rubbish, you will see it on the skin. You will see it on, not only with the enzymes, you will see it with everything. You get, sometimes you will get an illness because mm -hmm. obviously depends on where you live, in which, on which continent that you live. We have other food, we have other mentality, we have other traditions. I tell people, try please to eat or to take olive oil. That helps also a lot. I come from a country where olive oil is, is native because I'm Italian. So I'm used, I grew up with, with that sort of Mediterranean uh, diet. And I, I, I can't do different. Wait, do you live in... Uh, I live in Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes, yeah. Oh I, my I God. live in Switzerland. The Northern but, Italian Lakes, one of my favorite places in the world. They're beautiful. That's yeah, beautiful. so you're saying cook in olive oil, but but also olive oil, it. yes, yeah. because it's uh, it's really very very healthy. My grandmother actually she used to take one one teaspoon a day. I was, I was just going to ask you that. She was yeah. really they wanted they t they were taking olive oil with a, a, a teaspoon and the, they were drinking it like this. I've been mm. you know salad is perhaps a little bit better. Um, back on the enzymes, I said they are um, important for different bodily uh, um, functions, but I want to bring in something, Elisa, that people obviously don't know. Uh, you know that I do medical astrology. Right. So, in medical astrology, I would look very close on a, on a chart. Uh, the, the, the enzymes as a class are under the rulership of Pluto and uh, mm. because Pluto is you know uh, replicative uh, processes um, uh, also taking the toxins out of the body expelling everything Pluto is a little bit the heavy guy or oh, in mythology he would be Hades oh. the, the, the god really? of the underground yes Pluto is very when I see tumors I look very close uh, at Pluto, the yeah. angles in which houses and so on. So Pluto is the ruler here. He says, okay, I'm fine. Here I am the boss and I'm ruling it. But the, 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 the other guy that comes in is Neptune and he's deceiving. He's putting everything upside down. You can see through, it's, you know, like a nebula. Yes. Uh, and you can't figure out because is then is it actually like an antagonistic uh, game with those two because Pluto is the one in charge uh, with poisons, Ooh. chemical poisons, yeah. and these two obviously they mess up. So yeah. he's killing what what actually Pluto is ruling the mm -hmm. enzymes. So there are many other things obviously. Um, because uh, what I wanted to say, I, I, because uh, before I forget, the enzymes are formed from ribonucleic acid, which is our, our is actually RNA. Okay. DNA, Wait, what, what, was it, what, were, what did you say before? Which is actually RNA. The the enzymes are formed from ribonucleic acid oh right well, we, okay got it right 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 right, right. Okay. Okay, it's actually it. our rna molecules uh, in the cell so the rna molecules obviously it's is uh, our uh, the form from our hereditary material our genes yes okay so there's not just only an enzyme because it's, it's not important and just for digestive purposes it has a lot more so the um, the, 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 uh, the nucleus of the cell is actually like a template which enzymes are formed. So Pluto is, 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 is actually rules all these processes. So th these two aspects obviously are very superficial mentioned because you really have to go deep into it. Uh, and sometimes I spend days to figure out what this patient might have or have you know, sometimes really I cannot figure out the cause yeah. because I'm not interested uh, in, in the symptom. We can have both the same symptoms, 
but we oh. have completely two different illnesses. Wow. Gosh, it's so complicated. Yes, it is. The body is so complicated. And then you get, you think about cofactors and then reactions. Yes, yes. Oh my, on the subset, I mean, the body is just a miracle. It's, it's absolutely. It's like on the physiology and the biochemical and the subcellular, but then you throw astrology in the mix. <laughs> Uh, Elisa, when you understand the processes in the body, the connectivity, the inter is actually everything is interrelated, interconnected. If you swallow something, it is actually causing an, an action or the reaction. It's obvious. But what happens in the entire body? For example, talking, yes, about enzymes, but I want to bring that in because uh, I've noticed with depression, most people do not consider that, we, you know, we say sometimes that the gut is our second brain. Why? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the vagus nerve, which is our 10th cranial nerves, also on both sides, obviously, yeah. it, it sends 10% of information down to the guts. Yeah. But it receives 90% 90, 90 goes back to the brain. So always nutrition depends on what you eat. It goes up to the brain and then it can cause depression. It can, can cause anxiety. It can cause, I don't know what else. It can so cause that, you to faint. Yes. So you have pain, 90, extreme pain. Whoosh, yeah. pain. Yes. So Sometimes when you eat, uh, I don't know, heavy stuff, obviously, um, it goes up to the brain again and you have a headache, migraine and this and that, you know, it comes really from nutrition. It's not only the outside uh, uh, pollution and please don't take uh, any water, don't drink tap water because uh, there are about 300 substances that are not um, getting tested and which are not supposed to be in water antibiotics, hormones, and a lot more. Yeah. So I'm just saying, nutrition is very, very, very important. Um, what are enzymes actually doing? What, why, I mean, why, why are they here? <laughs> Obviously, they are involved in growth, uh, blood coagulation, healing, diseases, as I said before, yeah. uh, breathing, digestion uh, reproduction every, and every, everything that happens in our body is has an enzyme component to it yes absolutely there are as i said the the, the, the function it's 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 so intrinsic it's so wide we could not live without enzymes it's, it's not possible the human body would be nothing without even, the enzymes even vision, even vision the the, yes. Back the the rhodopsin and the, yeah, all, all the stuff. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. The more you I mean, we have about different uh, um, digestive enzymes. That there are, I think there are about five, which I remember. It's lipases, amylases, a protease, which is uh, actually um, produced in the stomach. Most of them are produced actually in the stomach or by the pancreas. Um, pepsin is one very, very, very important one. When we, we are to have babies. I mean, gosh. Yes, yes, yes. It, it's, I mean, it's so really intrinsic. Our, our body is the, actually the most or the biggest miracle that, that can, can, can exist beside nature. Uh, I, I mean, as a physical, it's so complicated. It's so, and it's just working. I mean, we we destroy it. Oh my well, God! Can uh, you imagine? Can you imagine <laughs> if we had to voluntarily think about all these pro processes? Oh my God! It. Make some more pepsin. I'm running out. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, let's talk about <laughs> more about the um. That, that reminds me of that myth. Uh, that uh, mythical deal, but I can't remember. But let's talk more about the the astrology behind it because that's, that's fascinating. So the astrology. As I said, this is just one part because um, people might agree or might not agree. I have my own stuff. I am reading ancient scripts. You know, it's not a modern medicine or modern, astro uh, modern astrology. I, I rely on the ancient um, books, 
which are in Latin or where we actually translated from the Latin or from the Greek. And I mean, um, I, I, as I said before, Hades or Pluto, how we call him today, because we are using in, in astrology uh, the Roman uh, uh, names, not the Greek names. Okay. So imagine now all this big family up there, which is ruling up there, and everybody has his own job. Um, Saturn is always seen as the malefic and the mean guy. Yeah. It's not true. Each planet has always two sides all the time. Yeah, I heard it's actually a feminine one, but with a it's a feminine planet with a ma a masculine demigod or something like that. I mean, Saturn is is always and is actually Saturn and Mars. They are always the, called the malefics, and I really I dislike this wording because yes. Um, Mars is showing actually uh, where you have, in, in a good way, uh, where you have stamina and you fight and I have the will and I will get it, I go and get it. The other side is causing fevers, high fevers. It's causing inflammation. Uh -huh. It's causing scars, accidents. Whereas Saturn says, hello, boundaries, you cannot do this. You have to stick to the rules, otherwise you will get it. This well, is Saturn. Okay. But yeah, that's what I understand. I read somewhere that it's Saturn is more feminine, but it's like tough love. You know, it's good. Like um, it's, like it's a, very t uh, Saturn is, yeah. is 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 quite tough. Uh, it gives rules. We are, for example, both pragmatics. We say it and we do it <laughs> without discussion. Yeah. But we have boundaries, we have sometimes obstacles. Are you able to overcome the obstacles or not? Yeah. Yeah. So it's up to us all the time. It's the will. So I refuse to call them the malefics because all planets, even Jupiter, I've noticed with Jupiter, for example, in, in, in Cancer or in the fourth house, I've seen um, a natal chart from patients which are uh, they, they are obese severely obese oh yeah because of jupiter he's expanding everything he's doing everything big oh, magnifying yeah. oh. obviously he's the biggest planet in our solar sy system god, thanks god because he's really protecting us from i don't know what out uh, from out there so but he has also negative uh, sides is not only the positive even if it's called fortuna mayor uh, the, the big fortune or the, 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 yeah. the lucky one mm. but so <clears throat> this is very believe me uh, elisa it's so complicated sometimes where do i have to look yes i know the processes in the body but is is it really pluto the, the main guy that is causing this illness or is it something else you know what I mean? Yeah, but good, yeah. enzymes are ruled by Pluto. Pluto is also ruling the immune system. Even if people say, no, it can't be. It's Mars and Neptune. <clears throat> yes, but they are involved in it because yeah, it's not only one. There are several ones. Also with wow. the head. Say, OK, well, the head is. That? You can't fight against a planet. There are several also, how do they talk to each other? Oh, are they yeah. arguing? Are they uh, talking in harmony with each other? Or are they always like war all the time? Neptune is anyway deceptive. So it's poison, all the chemical poisons, explosions. But who knows? I mean, we are humans. I try to, to, to take the old scripts. Uh, in into now modern days astrology which sometimes is not really uh, easy to to even translate them because we yeah. they were using a different language uh, the, the, the the big astrologers ptolemy but it's not only ptolemy it's many many others so you see um it's not it's not uh easy to to explain medical astrology and 
medicine but you must understand the processes in the body otherwise you cannot do medical astrology you have yeah. to know how is the body working what is well, happening you also have to understand these plans too i was watching yes. uh, matthias de stefano on uh, his gaia series uh, initiation yes and he was talking about uh how we go through was it um uh birth growth um integration and transcendence and we do mm -hmm. through uh, one uh, and transcendence is death and we go through this 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 all sorts of the another life another life another life another, uh, so many infinite numbers until it actually because and this it's almost like sacred geometry until mm -hmm. it's almost an infinite number and become a sphere and the wise wisest beings are actually spheres like the sun the planet yes yes and, and pluto the earth the sun they're all wise living beings absolutely and, um, look uh, even uh, rudolf steiner uh is anthroposophy uh, I, i'm reading rudolf steiner since about when i was 18 or 17 he's quite heavy stuff but he mentions also about that when we are tra transcending when we are leaving also the body where do we go do we go to the sun do we go to the moon do we go to saturn where do we go depends also on how we are evolved yeah then we choose to go to a certain place it might sound crazy or nowadays do we become that do we come do we become after near infinite of course there's no linear time but do we once we have seen all the perspectives we can see from mm -hmm. every of all the realities possible then we become this wise round being so okay uh so what can we do with this astrology to tackle this uh, understand the nutrition and the human body is there can we use that as a tool or or, or can you we can use it as a understand? tool also you can use it as prevention because i try to use medical astrology also as prevention you can you know elisa you know it yourself as a medical doctor sometimes even if you have something inherited from from your grandparents or you god knows uh, your, your ancestors it doesn't mean that you will get it too because yeah. it can remain the entire life dormant and all of a sudden perhaps you have a trigger a shock or whatever in life yeah. that pushes that illness out of uh, out of nowhere okay yes. but if we can we have all weak spots in in our body or everybody nobody's perfect we are perfectly uh, um, imperfect <laughs> put it this way no one is really perfect no human being oh, no. i don't know of course anybody not. So, uh, if we can uh, figure out which part of the body or, you know, what sort of sickness that we, we would get, uh, based also on the natal, natal chart, I know my weakness. I have to be very careful with inflammation. Yeah. That is my weak spot. So, knowing it, I would try everything to avoid it not all the time yeah. because i'm not perfect so uh, i i preach others to take the the, the um, um, medicine i mean not chemical but i don't take it myself so so far or so much as being perfect <laughs> this is <clears throat> being really uh, when you see a, a child and you know more or less what you could get prevent it yes let's okay so okay it. let's let's say that Jupiter is in your child's chart, and, and so they could have a propensity of being obese, right? Yes. Then you could yes. use that information, right, to, to make sure. Or your child has um, mercury, is it? And they could have, they could grow up to develop rheumatic, uh, arth uh, uh, juvenile uh, arthritis. arthritis or some autoimmune disease, right? Well, mercury so, is more in, 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 in the sense of, um, speech impaired speeches um okay when uh, like, what, what like, a, like a static okay what, what would 
But anyway, you so you can predict certain things in a child, yes. uh, right? Yes. So could, but oh, also for us adults, it's not only the child. Yeah, I know, but uh, yes, yeah. So yes. So if you if if somebody was to come to you and mm -hmm. they, you would do their chart, then you could say, "Here is what you you don't have anything going on now," or maybe you do. Here mm -hmm. is a here's a nutritional plan for you or here are some things you need to watch out for right yes because obviously if they know they can prevent it i had a patient she didn't want to understand what what i was telling her i said you with the food that you're taking and i mean she's only 42 years it's not it's not old okay no. especially nowadays i said <laughs> please avoid sugars avoid your biscuits don't take muffins don't take you know all yeah. this all this crap yeah. because you will get sooner or later but sooner than later diabetes and she said how can i not eat my biscuits for god i said w oh, woman oh. you you don't understand what how serious it can be because diabetes is even worse than cancer it's really mm -hmm. terrible illness you have even if we have nowadays, you know, uh, injections and pills, but avoid it. So, what are you eating? You are just eating rubbish. That's it. Not more than that. But you got it, huh? Yeah, a lot of cancers are curable. Yes. But diabetes can be lifelong. It affects your retinas, your nerves. And I mean, my sister uh, died from it. She had to, ended up with, uh, well, she didn't die from that. She just got fed up with having a walker. I had to straight catheter bladder every eight hours, come home from the clinic and- Oh my God. And she had, her bowels wouldn't work. She had to have a J tube to be fed because she couldn't eat, you know, and it was awful, mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. blind, so. Yeah. I want to mention also, uh, Elisa, talking about enzymes. It's very important about the pH, the pH level, um, when I see it, uh, pH level of the, I'm talking about uh, of the blood, but also other things in the, in, in the, because the blood oh, is yeah. very, very important. Yeah. Uh, say for example, we have, um, a, a very low, uh, pH that means that the body is very acidic. Okay. If you have a higher, that means it's alkaline. Mm -hmm. So depends on where it works the enzyme has to work in the stomach is the ph level would be ideal about two because the stomach has about a ph of one right more or less okay yes. so in other places in the body it might need a, a, a ph of 7.5 mm -hmm. but the enzyme decides so that means it's very very important don't overcook food if you if you cook uh, at very high temperature you kill the enzyme the, the, it is no longer effective it's not working do you destroy it so is in when you have a fever also the enzyme they suffer because you have a high fever so they can't work properly well you don't need that much anyway when when you have a high fever well of course example. wait a minute so what do they say feed a fever starve a cold or what is it starve a fever Get a cold. Anyway, but Stop, starve, starve the fever. <laughs> okay, so um, but basically, teleologically, um, the body produces a fever because it, it it fights off infection to a certain degree, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. And also, uh, when we have a boo boo, we have the swelling, but the swelling, everybody says rice, you know, rest. Um, ice compression and elevation but really some of that you need to have the, the swelling you had to 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 sometimes um, it's, it's contraproductive need to come over and the, the the all the cells that need to come over and take care of the boo-boo so yes because they won't the work otherwise you do. but you don't yeah. want to have such a huge fever that you start to melt your brain and stuff no, no. But in general, high fever is always a, a sign that the body is trying to get out all these toxins. Yeah. Okay. But, but, the, but there's a law of diminishing returns, probably. You don't want too much. Yeah. yeah. So 
uh, this uh, uh, about the, the pH because there are also quite a lot of foods that produce even enzymes, but they should not be really cooked at a high high temperature. Try to steam them if possible. Yeah. Uh, nutrition is so important. Um, for example, I know it sounds crazy, but uh, avocado they have a lot of enzymes, oh. and if you if you have a, a meal which is a little bit heavy, um, then eat an avocado because it's helping you to digest better. Oh, okay. okay my husband will not eat um, like rare or he just, oh he's just stressed. So what? I have to talk to him. Where... Uh, avocado? Are you talking about avocado? No, I'm talking about beef and now he doesn't eat beef at all he saw a 2020 thing on slaughterhouses and that's it said, i won't eat anything with a face so i said okay you eat chicken it has a face okay he doesn't he's... okay well yeah. if if people don't want to eat uh meat or even fish or anything that is animal it's up to them i mean yeah. i don't judge anybody no, of course uh, not. but i have to say also uh, using the Scala waves, as I have been using now since yeah. years, I've noticed that people change the taste. They don't like, for example, any more some some sort of foods. They don't like, per, say, they don't like uh, meat anymore. It, it does change the tongue, the, t the really the taste, and they don't uh, they stop eat, eating um, uh, meat. I mean, okay, it's yeah. fine. That means also the body doesn't need it anymore oh. because we change, we evolve. But yeah. Scala wave can can cause also that because I have been using it and observing it now since since a couple of years. Okay, yeah. so bananas they have a lot of of enzymes, but please don't eat um, green bananas because they are not very healthy. <laughs> That's a nasty tasting. Ugh, it's disgusting. I, yeah. So my sister has had been a uh, my older sister nine ten months older had uh, has been had been a vegetarian not a vegan for ever since she was really little, mm -hmm. but all of a sudden a couple of years ago she says I need a side of beef, and so she you know she just changed. Now that's neither here nor there. But when I asked Eric about you know what's better, I mean being a vegetarian or being a not not being a vegetarian he said look everything is a living being uh mm -hmm. what plants are do, also living well yeah it, what you need to do is just raise and slaughter or harvest in you know in a humanitarian way and be grateful express gratitude exactly uh, and asparagus is no is no has no less value than um you know a, a, a hen etc they're all um they're all valuable we should be actually grateful that we have first of all the food yeah. because it's not i mean it's not for it's granted not that. that we have food yeah, and is what i know it's it sounds might sound a little bit ridiculous my grandma mother because i i was very attached to her she was blessing the food. I was laughing at her. I said, no, no, what are you? Are you crazy? What are you doing? You're talking to the food? And she says, yes, I am thankful that I have this food, mostly from her garden. But also I am blessing the food because it's giving me nutrition. Giving okay? life. No matter and if it's, it's a yes. head of lettuce or a, a matter. fish that I catch, I do that. And I always, when I hook a shrimp onto the, I say, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me thank too. You, I you. love shrimps. I, I do the same. But talk to the food, bless the food. I even bless the water when, when I drink or, or, or I the water is washing me. I bless the water. I I've, Really, because it's, it's like a ritual. Be thankful, appreciate what you've got, even if it's just one leaf of uh, spinach, but mm -hmm. it's, it's giving you nutrition. So if you put rubbish into your body, of course, you will get rubbish. You will get sick sooner or later. Exactly. Is that what I try to, to, to let people understand? We are what we eat. Exactly. You cannot, 
Why would you harm yourself? Exactly. Now, what about enzymes? Um, when you eat them, uh, you know, since you have pro uh, proteases, don't they get uh, destroyed? Why don't, I know they don't, why don't they get destroyed in the stomach acids uh, enzymes? Why don't the stomach acids enzymes get destroyed by? Because of the pH, you know, uh, the enzymes, they have different roles. Yes. And depends on where they work, the ones that are intended to work for the, uh, in, in the stomach, they adapt to the pH of two. I see. The others, which are intended to do another job in the body, they have another pH. Yeah. Okay? So that's why they are, and if we are healthy, we don't destroy them. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So, um, that's why I, I said before about the pH of, 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 of the body, of the blood. Yeah. That is very, very important. And also, but the, I don't have to tell the body what to do. The body knows actually what to do. We just mess it up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we don't so have to. <clears throat> otherwise, we have to think, oh, well, I have too little pepsin. Oh, my God, where is the pepsin? Where is the pepsin? Yeah. Mayday, mayday. We can't do that. The <laughs> The body knows them. where and how, but we <laughs> mess it up. That's it. We humans just mess up everything. I know. All right, so what about water? Oh, by the way, when you said Mayday, Mayday, it reminds me of that uh, Ber uh, Berlitz, uh, whatever language thing, that commercial where the this guy is like, a, a, he's a Coast Guard monitor, uh -huh. uh, you know, he's, he's monitoring the radio. <laughs> for SOSs and stuff, he's mm -hmm, rookie, mm -hmm. and so the, it's German, so the guy is like, okay, but I'm in German, sit here and do this, blah, 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 it's all in German, mm -hmm. and then you hear this American, um, um, ha, um, mayday, 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 uh, yes, this is the German, uh, German Coast Guard, he can barely speak, can I help you? Yes, we're sinking. We're sinking. Help, mayday, mayday. We're sinking. And he goes, uh, uh, "What are you sinking about?" <laughs> so, oh God! I, I mean, so when I say mayday, is really the, the the worst. It can't get worse. SOS, no, no. well, you can help, but mayday is already, you know, it's uh, it's already. How shall I say? It's very dangerous. That yes. means but perhaps you will have a little chance. How about? All right, what about water? So many of us, including me, are very guilty about not drinking enough water. And let's talk about the planet alignment or whatever the astrology behind that. Behind well, that. water in general is ruled by the moon, but not only. And I will not come and say, Elisa, you must drink three liters of water during the day. That is BS. It's not possible because okay. you might not need three liters of water. Oh. And what also people don't understand, we flush out every possible uh, uh, trace elements, vitamins, if we just drink normal water. We should take electrolytes. Electrolytes are also very important, like enzymes. Uh -huh. So drink isotonic drinks, for example, every now and then, and not just water, because really you flush out everything. Yeah. So, so what we, kind of drinks are we talking about? Isotonic, or even if you take, um, for example, I don't know how they call it in English. There are fruits um, are very high in antioxidants. Um, it's it's like it's like an apple. We call it in German granat like apple. Like Gatorade or something like that. Yeah, that you can drink. Yes, okay. you have to. You have to drink every now and then. Um, these isotonic drinks because you really flush keep out talking. everything keep talking because i'm going to go get some drops that, that i'm going to ask you about but keep, keep okay talking. what shall i say elisa i'm waiting for you i wonder what what you bring now Okay, so, um... Dropsy, drops, drops. 
drops. These are ion water trees. Ion. Okay. Uh, let's see what it is. Um, oh god. Uh, what does it have it's in it? In it. Oh, what does it have? Anyway, Pamela Erlen told me to have it. You just, um, it's a detox of some. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, I'll put it in the description box. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm not going to remember that. Jesus. Anyway, look it up. It's a detox. You do it like every six weeks or something. Mm -hmm. um, ion. I'll look it ion. Up. Okay. Well, yeah, detox is anyway important, but did you with, with, um, how shall I say, with um, the isotonic drinks, as I said, we flush out everything. If you just drink water, 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 it doesn't help much. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. So what about treating your, um, doing a molecular um, scalar treatment on water? How you put, put it on the uh, transmitter of a... a yes. Scalar? Can you tell me about that? You put it on the transmitter and I mean, I just give in what, what, what it is. It's water. So I type in it's water because you have to, to, to give the machine the medium. The medium is water. So these waves uh, enhance the power uh, uh, of, of the water because water has memory. Oh, wow. Water has memory. So I don't have, I just leave it in the hands of God's source or whatever who calls it. I mean, I don't care if it, you call it God, God or not. Just I just, energy. yes, I just leave it in the hands of source. The machine knows what to do. And you can be sure that the taste of the water is completely different because the molecules, they, they, they change. Okay. You can taste it. It's like a little bit sweetish oh. it becomes sweetish i even give it to my dog my dog doesn't get any tap water because we have here a very very uh, high um calc uh, in the water oh, yeah. it's yeah. very hard water yeah. and you can feel it even on the clothes on the skin so that means i don't give her any any such water uh, I give her still water. I put it in the machine. I have even a plate which costs me uh, in Swiss francs. I just say it in Swiss francs, 700 francs. And this plate also does the same thing as the Scala waves. Oh. It's, it's changing and increasing the memory of the water. You plug it in? No, you don't plug it in. This plate is about this big. Okay, about wow, this what, big. Geez, what's it made of? Some special metal? Uh, some special metal, but don't ask me because I, I would tell you a lie. I don't, I don't remember. And this plate, um, I bought it in Germany, but I said it's a 700 francs. And the, I, even when I make medicine for my patient, I leave it overnight. So the, all the power which is in the plants, because I just give plant-based medicine to, to my patients. Okay. I leave it overnight and the, the day after, 24 hours later, the, the strength of the plant is completely there. Even if oh. it's a capsule, I always do that. It's a ritual. I have sworn it. I, I always will do it with water, with, with plants that I'm touching. Uh, I always have the same ritual. That's interesting. You know, they should sell uh, scalar water in, in gallons. That'd be cool. Yes, but then come, you know, then the other people come, ah, that is anyway rubbish, doesn't doesn't help anything. But they never had to buy it. Bull oh, crap. All right, here's but, Ion. It detoxifies and strengthens wellness. Uh, ion alkaline water drops. I don't know. Mm -hmm. By cleanse uh, toxins from your body for less inflammation and sluggishness. But yeah. also, Elisa, you are a medical doctor. You know also that for us uh, humans, it is very important that we have the right amount of sodium. Mm -hmm. We just can't flush out everything. So sodium I mean, bicarb, you... a little sodium bicarb to the water. Probably. Yes, yes. We have, 
uh, we need salt. I mean, not in overdose, but we need salt. We need everything that is out there. How much would you recommend per eight ounces of, or you could do metrics? Uh, first, I have to calculate the ounces. <laughs> no, don't worry, but just do it in metrics. We can get, we have Siri over here. We can convert. Um, to drink it during the day? Yes. You, you mean how many drops you should put in? Oh, if, if, or if it's baking soda, so bicarb, because I don't... Uh, but baking soda, uh, it's, it's not baking soda, okay? Oh, wait, you wait. have to be careful. It's natrium bicarbonate. It's okay, not... so it's bicarbonate. I thought that's okay. the same as baking soda. No, it's not, it's not the same. It's not oh. the same. Not, it's called natrium. Okay. Not okay okay uh, that is even helps for digestion when you have you know the the the, the, the flow of coming up when you eat heavy stuff if you take bicarbonate it's neutralizing everything okay then uh, okay. tell me how to make it what we need with a a, a little bit uh, like you know a tablespoon a, a pinch i did three capsules for um First in the family, there are about 500 milligrams each to avoid anything, you know, the gastrointestinal uh, reflux. Yes. When they take uh, after the, the meal, uh, it's calming down everything. Bicarbonate of soda uh, is, is actually really neutralizing. You should always have it at home. Okay. Can you uh, tell me what the chemical chemical formulation is can, can I would you say, email, email it to me i will i will email it to you because it is important that you have the chemical structure okay and last but not least do you have your website up yet no it's still not working because the guy okay. that actually was supposed to do it he got sick oh no you better work want... on with your scalar machine Dumb. so um i know uh, he got, I don't want to mention which uh, illness, oh, okay. at the, which is causing at the moment, but is it, it, has, it has been a little bit of a headache, believe me. And oh, I know. Well, hit, Mercury not... retrograde yeah. was also a big mess. Oh, I know. Oh. All right, so um, I was writing down here that maybe uh, we should do a, on a, a radio show together about detox. I think it's really important, you know? Also, by the way, also, I know it sounds crazy, if you want to do uh, beside the detox, if you want to get good enzymes, eat sauerkraut because sauerkraut okay. has a lot of vitamin C, which is natural vitamin C, and we need it really. Okay. I I don't recommend supplementation because there are supplementation uh, enzymes. They are called PEPs, but. I never give them to the patient because um, I think if we could do it through food, it's better. If we could detox yes. and, and uh, uh, have uh, enzymes through food. So maybe it should be a double topic, uh, detox and um, enzymes through um, good food, food, good nutrition. The thing is, uh, uh, Elisa, you cannot always stuff your body with toxin. Okay. Exactly. Every now and then you have to detox like they were usually doing in ancient times. Yeah. So two, two, three times a year, and then you build up your immune system. Yeah. That is important, and then all you right. stay healthy. So. But you cannot just stuff all the time. Right. So, what, to what are the main toxins we put in our body? What Chemicals. How can we replace our enzymes, and how can we detox through food? Sounds great. And how astrology works this into, into all this. All right. Thank you, Maria. And how can we get in touch with you at geoforce at zoho.com, right? Yes, exactly. All exactly. right. Thank exactly. you. I will send to you whatever. Okay. Thank you too. Bye. Thank you very much. I love you. Oh, Bye, and everybody. Wait, 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 one more thing. Tell us yes. about how you keep your hair so beautiful because you said something about honey. I use ginger and honey mix and I leave it for about an hour, but this is my natural color, by the way. Wow. I have already great hair, great hair, but honey and ginger. I leave well, it. Uh, How much honey do you put in, you know, 
I put about uh, uh, the big um, spoon uh, of honey. The longer that obviously you need, you make it warm. You put ginger, uh, ginger also liquid, and massage the entire scalp and leave it for about an hour. Wait, do you heat up the honey and put it in hot water or? Yes. Scalar in water? ginger. Yeah. All right. Scalar. I use only scalar water. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you for everything, Elisa. Stay healthy. Thank you for Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much.